Open your web browser. In the location box, enter the IP address 192.168.12.1. Press enter. The gateway opens on the overview where you can see general information about your T-Mobile gateway. Note. You can see how many devices are currently connected. T-Mobile does not give you a way to see individual devices in this interface. For that, you will need to use the T-Mobile Home Internet app on the Devices tab to see who is connected. The Overview tab displays general information about your gateway, such as signal strength and hardware information. Click the Status tab. The Status tab displays general information about your data usage, cellular network, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Click the Statistics tab. Here, you can check statistics on your local area network, your cellular network. The WAN is your wide area network, or the wireless networks you have set up for connecting all of your devices, such as your TV and cell phones. Click the Network tab to expand it. Then click the 2.4G tab. You are asked to log in. Use the user ID, admin, and the password you gave when you set up your T-Mobile gateway and click Login. There are two speeds available for your networks. Use 2.4G for devices that don't need a lot of speed, like your printers, refrigerators, and other smart devices. Use 5G for your television, cell phones, and tablets that stream multimedia. Note. If you experience buffering problems, you may get better results using one 5G network for your televisions and a different 5G network for your other devices. Note. An SSID is your service set identifier, better known as your wireless network name. Your gateway allows for up to 4 2G SSIDs and 8 5G SSIDs. Let's set up a 5G SSID. To create an SSID, select an unused SSID. In our case, the first unused 5G SSID is number 7. Give your SSID a name, like CIA-HQ. Enable the SSID. Set the password. Click Save Changes. After a few seconds, you should receive a message saying the changes have been saved successfully. While we are here, the System tab allows you to reboot your device, reset to the original factory settings, upgrade firmware, or change your gateway password, all from the comfort of your couch. When you're done, log out. One last thing. If you reset your gateway to the factory settings, your username and default password are located on the sticker on the bottom of your gateway. In case you forgot. Good luck with your T-Mobile Home Internet.